Good day, everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about another extension to Luminar Neo called Background Removal AI. And we'll be looking at that right after this. All right, thanks for sticking with me, everyone. In this video, I wanted to talk about Background Removal AI. Now this is an extension to Luminar Neo that adds additional functionality beyond what's included in the base program. In this case, the functionality is to basically identify the subject and help to remove the background from this subject itself. Now I've got a couple of different images that I wanted to look at and see how this works and you know if I th if I think it's worth it or not. To basically look at this, what we need to do is open up a photo once, of course, you've added the, the extension. Uh, we need to go into Edit, and we want to go into Layer Properties. Now, in Layer Properties, we'll go into Masking, and in there, we're going to go into Background Removal AI. So if I click on this, the AI is basically going to try and identify what the subject is, and then once it's identified the subject, it's going to give you some options on what you think that subject should be. And it will then allow you to basically extract that from the background. Now, I've got these photos as is, and I'm going to show a couple of different scenarios of where it works and where I think maybe it doesn't quite work as well as I would have liked um, so far. Now, it is worth highlighting that as with all of these things, this is a tool like any other. Using default settings is probably not a good idea. But what you'll see is it's found the main object, which is my son, Miles, and it's highlighted most of that red. So main object, human, most of that is right. Now, what you'll notice is there's a whole range of other options. So it's found sky, flora, architecture, um, and a whole range of other things. Now, it changed a little bit just then, and you might have noticed as I was sort of hovering over stuff, um, it found a little bit more and added it. But this was one of the kind of criticisms I had about background removal at, in its current stage, is what it understands a subject can be is fairly limited. So if you're trying to remove backgrounds from photos with people in them, I think it'll be perfectly fine. And so if I go remove, what it'll do is it'll basically try and mask out Miles, remove the background and keep him. What, where it sometimes struggles though, like you can see it's done a pretty good job of that actually. There's a little bit of transparency around his hat that it's kind of not masked quite properly. So what I can do is I can go into refinement brush and I can then say, okay, this is the object. And I can then start to fix that up and basically paint in the, the object in this. So I'm painting it in and saying, yes, this is part of the object. So basically don't, uh, don't remove it. And what it's gonna do is it's then gonna have a go at it again and basically try and fix that up so that it's, you know, it, it's grabbed a lot more and it's not transparent anymore. So in this case, I think it works pretty well. I think the transition around the hat is pretty good. I didn't need to do a lot of masking to fix that, or sort of refinements to fix that up. I think it worked pretty well. So let's look at a couple of other photos though. So I've got one here of my daughter, just a, a standard environmental kind of photo. Layer properties, masking, background removal, AI. Same thing, it's gonna analyze the photo. It's gonna try and work out which parts uh, my daughter's in and what the items are that we might want to mask out and then it'll give us those options. Like always we can always work on refinements but really for this I want to look at how well it works out of the box by default because ideally if you're using AI to do the work you want it to try and do most of the work and not have to worry about it. Now I'm looking at this and I think that's done a pretty good job. If I go remove it's going to remove the background and leave Mackenzie. And from what I can see, I think it's identified her pretty well and pretty easily. So again, working with people, 
I think worked pretty well. I certainly haven't seen too many issues around that. Now, I don't take many photos of people. I tend to take photos of birds and animals and wildlife a lot more. So that was where I was curious how well would this actually work with something that is not people related. So again, edit, layer properties, mask in, background removal AI, and we'll see what it works out. So I think it will probably identify the bird is my guess. How well it masks is, is probably the, the good question. So if I leave it as is and I click on remove, let's see what it actually found. It's identified the bird as the main subject. That's fantastic. Um, but what you'll see is it's missed a fair bit. And this was kind of what I was talking about is you can't expect AI to know every subject that can possibly exist. But it seems like in, in many cases, this is kind of more for people related photos than it is for wildlife and nature and those sorts of things. So, you know, if I close refinement brush just to show what I've added in, it had missed the, the bottom of the bird quite a lot. So it has actually missed a fair bit in the scenario here where I'm looking at a wildlife photo itself. Now, uh, it's probably not entirely fair criticism, to be honest, because I'm not convinced that that is necessarily what that extension is fully designed for. It's probably designed more for the built environment and portraiture and those sorts of things. So, you know, if I open a portraiture photo and for um, clarification, this is a photo that was provided by Skylum, so it's probably well suited to this. Uh, if I go edit, layer properties, mask in, background removal AI, let's see what it does here. But I suspect because this is Skylum's photo, it'll probably work pretty well and no doubt show, yeah. So you can see here, it's found the main object, which is the, the lady. I can click on remove and it will remove the background and leave just her. So I think if you're after something like a portrait style background removal, this tool seems really good. Maybe a little bit more limited around things like bird photos and nature photos, but you know, as always your mileage may vary. So it's always worth looking at it with your own photos. So I hope this has been useful. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, as always, links are in the, in the description. Thanks for watching. I do, I'm just being genuine, yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah.